the domain namespace is structured like a tree. It is usually called a hierarchical structure, but since hierarchy is hard, both to pronounce and spell, I used to say tree instead. Just like a file structure, it has a tree shape. It is the same with DNS, and it can be visualized both with the root up and the other way around, it doesn't matter. The DNS tree begins with a root zone. This is written with a dot. Later on in this course you will see zone files containing the DNS information, and in some places you will see hostname that ends with a dot, like google.com dot. This may look weird, but the background for this is to show that this branch or domain name is relative to the root. From the root zone there are branches to di different top level domains. When you see the letter TLD, that means top level domains. At first there were just a few TLDs. Among the first ones was .NET, .edu and .com. In many years there was just a handful of those gener generic top level domains and uh, also con country specific TLDs like .se in Sweden where I am. Nowadays there are thousands of TLDs and you can actually get your own TLD if you have enough money. From each TLD there are branches to second level domains. Example of second level domains are Microsoft.com, Google.se and NetZero.net. When you register your own domain you normally get yourself a second level domain. When you do that you have to decide on which TLD you want to hook it to. Or you can do like Google and buy both Google.se and Google.com and so on. These are two different domains that are handled and configured independent from each other. They can point to the same web server and mail server, but they don't have to. Below each second level domain you can have names in a third level. One example is the www record in the domain microsoft.com. This record points to the IP address of the web server responsible for the web page www.microsoft.com but the third level can also be a delegated domain. Let's say that Microsoft has a specific subdivision in the company named Support. This division has their own DNS servers and the third level domain name is delegated to that DNS server. This means that the DNS server of the support.microsoft.com can put their own information as branches below their third level domain without any changes needed in the DNS server responsible for the second level domain microsoft.com. This is not limited to three or four level, instead there can be an unlimited number of levels in DNS. There are DNS server responsible of the root zone, these servers are called root servers. The root servers contain information about all existing top level domains. Whenever a new top level domain is added, this must be added to the root servers. From the root zone, responsibility of each top level domain is delegated. There are specific domain servers responsible for the net TLD, others responsible for the .com TLD and so on. Whenever a new second level domain is added to the com TLD, that information is added in the DNS authority of the .com TLD. Other DNS servers are responsible for each other top level domain. When adding new entries below the Microsoft.com domain, this information is added to the DNS servers responsible for the Microsoft.com domain. If information is to added below the support.microsoft.com subdomain, this is not added in the DNS servers for the Microsoft.com domain, but instead to the servers that has delegated control over the support.microsoft.com subdomain. If there is no delegation, information in multiple level is added to the authoritative DNS server of the parent domain. As an example, if we add the subdomain www.sales.microsoft.com, this is added to the server authoritative of the Microsoft.com domain.